Hi, this is Rick Armour with the Palo Alto Weekly. We're here today with Eitan Smolyar. He is a senior at Gunn High School, a football player, and he's our Athlete of the Week after uh, rushing for almost 200 yards and four touchdowns and a big win over Yerba Buena, uh, making Gunn 3-0 for the first time in a long time in its history. So, uh, Eitan, I guess we can start there. How, how do you talk about the game? Uh, yeah, okay, so, uh, I, so I moved here last year uh, from Israel. In the last last season, I played as nose guard in defense only, and also some of the special teams. And uh, during the off season, I proved myself, and I worked really hard. So uh, my coach, he gave me the chance to prove myself as fullback and outside backer, and uh, I did prove myself, and I worked really hard, as I said. And yeah, now I'm starting the I'm starting as a fullback and outside backer. Great, and uh, you know you had such a great game against Yerba Buena, Yerba Buena, and I know you had a pretty some runs in the other games too. But uh, you know, talk about maybe your offensive line and how they they uh, help you out. Uh, yeah, thank you. So, um, like, if not for my offensive line, nothing like not uh, nothing would have been possible. Uh, they're doing crazy job blocking for me and um, creating that wide open hole for me to run through. And uh, yeah, I would really like to thank my uh, offensive line, uh, Neil, Saya, Leo, Griffin, Evan, Ken. They're doing an amazing job. And this is not an easy offense for anybody, you know, particularly the offensive line. They got to really know and you got to hit spots real quickly. Is that kind of fun that you know that the, you're going to be running most of the time? Does that make it more fun to, to know that maybe you get more chances? Uh, yeah, it does, but I do uh, block in most of my plays. Right, yeah, that's what a fullback is, is generally speaking. But of course, when you get your chances, you make the most of them. Kind of talk about, you know, all of a sudden you're out in the open and you, you know you're going a long way and there's the end zone. And what does that feel like? Well, so like my first touchdown uh, in the beginning of the season, it, it just felt crazy. I know I was running for like probably like 20 yards. But for me, it felt like I was running for like maybe like 200 yards. And just like the the feeling of running the ball and like running towards the goal line, it just feels crazy. Yeah, great. And you know, uh, I guess in Israel you don't play too much American football. You play the other kind of football. Uh, you know, was that an adjustment for you? Uh, what do you mean by that? Well, you know, you had to learn the sport, like a new sport all over again. Did you watch anything on TV? Did you understand football at all? Uh, no, basically I just showed up to all the practices and did my best understanding the game and the rules, and uh, that's it. Yeah, and your team now has had, is now having a second pretty good season in a row, and uh, you know, you guys talk about you know, your goals and things, and you know, what makes this team so special this year? Um, so I would say, I would start by saying that we had a crazy off season. We, we had 7M workouts for like five months, and we had to run the hills in the summer when it was like 100 degrees outside, and um, yeah, we we did a bunch of crazy crazy uh, stuff, and uh, so we started there. And then, um, like now, uh, we're more co committed academically speaking, and also like we come to all of the practices, and um, it's something that is uh, very different than uh, the previous seasons, from what I heard. Uh, yeah, everything is like more more serious. Mm -hmm. And I don't know one of the the uh, goals is to be in the same league with Palo Alto at some point, and I, I don't know if you know understand that rivalry, but I'm, I'm sure you probably picked it up pretty quick. You know, what does that what would that mean to you to maybe be able to play Palo Alto? Uh, so, like, if we would be able to play them, it would be probably next year, and I would be at college, so I won't I won't get the chance to play them. But knowing that we're in the same league with them uh, will make me really proud because I know that's. That's like one of the, the um, like the most important important stuff to like to reach for gun for gun football, because Palo Alto High School that's like our uh, most important rival. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, hopefully you get that. Ch well, you the team will very soon, and I think uh, you have a pretty good coach uh, that that might get you there. He's he's riding you guys pretty hard, I guess. Kind of talk about his influence on on you and the team. Uh. So. Yeah, our our coach, I respect him a lot. Uh, he's he's a like he's an amazing person. Uh, he makes us work really hard, and whenever we're down, he like he always makes sure to to keep us in check and uh, to help us out in whether it's if it's in practice or understanding a play better 
or giving us more reps or academically speaking like he got he got uh he got our back and uh yeah great so we've been talking to Aton Smolyar he is our athlete of the week this week and congratulations thank you and if you want to find out about next week's athlete of the week just hit that subscribe button down below or visit us at pasportsonline.com